So, big news today. From, from this day forward, Bali becomes something new, right? So, for the last many hundreds of years, right from the beginning, the definition of a ballet company has been the same, right? You have the ballet school, you have ballet company, you have an opera house. Well, from this point forward, we have a different definition now for what a ballet company is. Okay, let me explain. So what we're building at Ballet Conrad is what I'm calling a digital opera house, right? So something like a Disney Plus, a Netflix, something like that, a streaming platform of sorts, but, but interactive, okay? So it began with the, our online institute of courses. So that's going to become a subscription platform where we have weekly classes. Uh, so the full education package and we have art and entertainment, docu-series, gaming, these kinds of, of things. So that's the direction we're going in. The AI will be there, right? Involved. So this digital opera house, that's what Ballet Conrad is and is becoming and will be. So Ballet Conrad is what is a digital native. Now let me, so let me back up and explain what a digital native is. Many of you probably know versus a digital immigrant. Okay. These are terms that we use. So a digital native is somebody born, I think the nineties, maybe early nineties, maybe even late eighties forward. Right? So it's a generation, uh, after mine, I'm a gen X we're trying. Um, so, but then you have Misha, our son, Misha, he's 13. He was born in 2008. Now, so he came of age and consciousness with smartphones and apps and everything that we now view as normal. So he's never known life without smartphones and apps and all these things, which if you really think about, it's an extraordinary generational difference between my generation and everyone that has come after that. So we're developing the ballet company for digital natives. So ballet Conrad is a digital native. Okay. So here's the plan. Here's what I want to do. Here's my ambition. Here's what we're doing. So we're developing the digital opera house and I want to partner with traditional opera house, significant traditional opera house or opera houses. It doesn't just have to be one, but with the traditional world, because nothing's ever going to replace the live performance, right? N nothing can replace that energy, that human interaction and the risk, right? So the exhilaration of attending a live performance and giving a live performance, there's just nothing like that. So, my endeavor, my want is to marry these two worlds and create a wholly new ballet company, right? To where, so the relationship will work like this. What occurs on stage in the traditional opera house will also be presented in the digital opera house. And some of what is presented in the digital opera house will find its way to the stage, right? And so from this day forward, a ballet company is the marriage of these two worlds, the digital natives and the digital immigrants, which is what I am, right? Started out life in an analog world. Happy to be in a digital world, I have to say. So this is what ballet companies will be, must be. Because uh, obviously the only so many people can attend a performance in a theater at any given time. Whereas the digital is limitless. A billion people can, can turn up to a performance in our digital opera house. Now, if we start thinking about gaming, which is what we're getting at gaming and interactive, 
uh, content in the Digital Opera House, it gives audiences a way to actually participate in some form or fashion and to give them a rather, not even just a 3D experience, but a 4D. And I talked about this on another podcast. I don't know if it's coming before or after this one, but people, patrons and fans can actually do ballet classes with us, study, feel it in their bodies. So when they come to a performance, particularly a live performance, and they watch the artists do these amazing things, they actually will have, they will remember, they will, it will conjure up a physical sensation that they have had training. So for them, it's going to be very challenging to do just tendu without shifting their weight, for example. Now watching a, an artist on stage do all these amazing things, they will have an appreciation that audiences have, have never had before. So it's really a 4D experience, right? This is what we're doing. So as of today, we are going to be seeking partnerships with traditional opera houses. That's, that's, the way I, that's one way to do it. The other thing that I've had in mind, and this is a little bit of a like, secret that I'm going to share with you, I've also had the thought of, of building a, a ballet resort, like a ballet Conrad resort with an opera house, right? Opera house and gardens and all that kind of stuff. So I'll get into that in another podcast. But so uh, partnerships would be brilliant um, if these traditional companies um, recognize the value in creating a, a new ballet company that is the marriage of the traditional and the digital natives. So ballet has to be, um, become for digital natives, right? That's what I want. Because I've been asked that question so often, what do you want to do? Well, this is it. So I'm sharing it with you. So let me know what you think. And I'll be talking more about this and we'll be showing you, of course, uh, the content that we're creating and so forth. Let me know what you think.